Hey everybody, I am back again to talk about um, two bags, and they are actually the same design. They are from the company Love 41, and um, this is called the Umaraji Legacy Bag. So this is obviously black, and this is the color tobacco. I wanted to do a quick review of these bags. Um, they actually have been around, this design, for quite a while. And I, um, as you know, have been looking for the perfect leather bag. And I don't know if it exists, but I keep coming very close. And this one I really, really like. I think it doesn't get a lot of publicity or love, and I think it should, because to me it meets a lot of the things I'm looking for in a bag. And um, I bought these used, and they're from the same person. Uh, how do I describe this? On Facebook, there's this buy-sell group, and you can... Join this group. I'll leave a link below in the description box. Um, you have to request to be a part of the group, and then they approve you within a day or two. And I just wrote on there, uh, hey everyone, I'm looking for an Umaraji Legacy bag. I think I want to try it out. And a friendly person messaged me, and we started talking, and she gave me both of these bags um, for a great price. And I was only looking for the black one, and she offered me the tobacco one as well, and I was like, why not? I love tobacco. I love black. I don't know if you can see my collection behind me, but those are my two favorite colors. So that's where these bags came into my collection, and I've had them for about a month. Um, so let's jump in. They retail for, I have some notes right here. They retail for $2.19, and the dimensions are 13 wide by 7.5 tall by 4 inches deep. I mean, 4 inches. That's pretty good. You can actually hold quite a bit in these. Um, the strap length is 37 and a fourth to 52 and 3 fourths, and all this information is on their website, but you know, I just put it all together in the video just to fill my time. These are three pounds a piece. Three pounds, okay, that's a lot, but um, it's more of a structured bag to me. It doesn't have that floppy look. So the three pounds is because of the thickness of the leather and the fact that the way this bag is put together are rivets, there's no stitching. So the rivets, um, that weight's going to add up. But I'm fine with the weight. Alright, so antique brass hardware. This is a turn lock closure. Um, the strap is adjustable. The closure is adjustable. And 41 year warranty. So those are like the specs I wanted to run through. But I wanted to talk about my favorite things. Because that's why I do these videos. Okay, uh, it's vegetable tan, full grain leather as well. Uh, I mentioned the turn lock closure. Everybody and their mother has been complaining about the hobo's closure. Here is a large hobo from Saddleback Leather. Uh, I don't have an issue with the closure. A lot of people do. But it maybe takes a little bit of a learning curve. Instead of doing that bag, this one has the fastest access. Turn and you're in. Woohoo, one handed too. So the adjustable flap is because, if you can see through here, this one you can't actually reach when you close it, but this one you can if you don't have much in here. Can we do it with what's in here now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess I have it too full. But uh, I'll show you what I have inside in just a second. Fast access. Super cool. So that's my number one favorite thing. Um, the quality is just amazing. So this is vegetable tan leather. The large hobo is chrome XL leather. Uh, maybe you can see they're both calling these colors tobacco. Chrome XL is going to have more noticeable scratches, higher and lower colors within the leather. It's going to patina faster. The oils are going to rise and recede on the leather. And vegetable tan leather you can kind of see the oil come to the front. Their scratches aren't as noticeable. Definitely in the black. The black, like, you can't see these scratches. These are, like, I think two years old each. Um, but vegetable tan is much stiffer. You can even hear it creaking. <laughs> so, uh, this is going to hold, stand itself up, much more structured. Um, I think it has a little bit more of a formal look. Um, compared to the Chrome XL leather. Alright, number three. Uh, this bag is great crossbody. I have to check my time. You know me. I babble. 
and I have three more minutes. Can she do it? All right. I should just invest in a better camera because I don't, then I wouldn't have to rush the timeline that my Nikon gives me. Okay. So here's me in crossbody with the tobacco. This is on the last one, the last setting. I'm 5'5". Five five. And I think the tobacco reads a little more informal, which is good. I dressed in black today, which can be a little more formal. But I wanted to show you that. And then, stay. This is the black one, but I have it adjusted to the shoulder strap. I think I'm in frame. So, look at all this excess strap. I actually just tuck it up back into the strap to get rid of it. And I really like it shoulder strap. I'm a crossbody bag kind of person, but I think because this bag is structured, the wedge shape, it kind of just hugs the curves on me. And um, I feel like it's a little more polished when it's in a shoulder strap mode. So there you go. Okay, and then um, let me sit back down. I'll jump inside the bag, but this has a 40 year warranty, 41 year warranty. And that always gives me peace of mind when I use my bags, knowing that they're going to last, because then I use them. Why would you ever buy a bag and put it on a shelf and not use it? Bags should be used. And if they're going to be used and abused, I'd like there to be a warranty to go along with that. And these bags are great in the rain, actually. They, um, didn't really show any patina being in the rain, and I like to use a bag no matter the weather. I'm going to jump right in. This is my normal, what I would carry to church on a Sunday. I have a 14 ounce Nalgene bottle. Excuse me, 12 ounce Nalgene bottle. And that fits in this side pocket right here. The side pocket right here. Um, and then there's a side pocket right here. I'll show you more when it's empty. But there I have a small wallet. It looks like a man's wallet, but I kind of like it. And then I have, this is from Whipping Post. This is their wash bag. But in here I have tons of stuff. I have a little clutch, a little makeup pouch, scissors, keys, tissue. I'm doing it fast, guys. i got to make this time work. We have an extra external charger business cards, mm, I think there's headphones and medicine in there. That's empty. And then here's the file box. Oops, that's not my alarm. Okay, and then this is an A5 file effects, and that fits perfect in here. I take sermon notes and prayer requests from my friends. Um, so, yeah. okay, here's the inside. Nice and big and deep. There's these two pockets that are already already stitched in. And that's where I was putting either my sunglasses or my water bottle or my wallet. Things that I'm going to access the quickest um, when I'm checking out at a store. I want to grab my wallet really quick. So that's how I use this bag. Okay. Moving on. I filled this with things I would travel with. Alright. Here we have an iPad 1 an iPad mini in a case, a long trifold wallet, an inflatable neck pillow, my Bose headphones, the Umaraji Legacy Clutch. How cute is this? Huh? This is on their website, $49. And a pouch full of random things, and this was still open, so I could put my tickets or I could put snacks, anything. So, fast 